there you go folks, my first battery very low warning in my 2021 Tesla Model 3. This is Nash from Tesla and the Gong and you're watching this episode of how long it would take to charge your car from 8% to 90%. As you can see, we plugged in at about 8% and it said one hour and five minutes, starting at 58 kilowatts, putting back 420 kilometers per hour. Haha, <laughs> 420, hey. All right, I'm checking in at 37%. Briefly, I was drawing 90 kilowatts, but unfortunately, a Model 3 SR Plus is just parked alongside me and is plugged into 1B of this V2 supercharger, which is 130 kilowatts. And obviously, charge does get distributed. Okay, here we go. We are at 40% and we are holding steady at 57 kilowatts. Now, I must say, before the other two cars parked, I was getting all the way up to 122 kilowatts. That's the maximum I got. As you know, these are V2 superchargers, which are 130 kilowatts maximum. I'm still putting in 415 kilometers per hour and at 40%. So remember, I'm charging from 8%. So at 40%, I would end up paying $13.26. Now to put this into perspective, 41% gives you 234 kilometers. 40 more minutes to go. And guys, if you thought you're watching an episode of Dirty Tesla, well, this is what a drive in the wet weather to Jervis Bay would do. I have a quick Instagram post of the Jervis Bay Drive. Do check that out. And one more mark here. We started at 1.46 p.m. The time now is 2.09 or 2.10 p.m. And we have put back inside 195 kilometers. So 241 kilometers at this time. Right, 20 more minutes to go. We have 382 kilometers in our battery already. And see what has happened now. It's gone up to 81 kilowatts and we're putting back 592 kilometers per hour. You know why? Because the gentleman next to me, the Model 3 that is plugged in, has now reached 90% state of charge already, or nearing 90% state of charge. So my car starts to draw more in this AB format. As you know, these V2 superchargers are always in A and B. So I have plugged into 1A, and the gentleman next to me is plugged into 1B. And that is why the variance in the kilowatt uh, usage has happened, because his is nearing end of charge and mine needs to go further. And so the uh, V2 superchargers, as well as the car, will intelligently change the rate of charge between the two cars. 20 more minutes, 390 kilometers, 78 kilowatts, 574 kilometers per hour. And we put in 346 kilometers already. Pretty darn cool, isn't it? One more check-in marker, 402 kilometers at 74 kilowatts, putting back 542 kilometers per hour. Now the Berry supercharger here in New South Wales was really busy today. Unfortunately, the last three supercharger bays could not be used because some hoon decided to do burnouts on that lovely grass. As you know, Berry superchargers here in New South Wales is the only supercharger here in Australia set on grass. So the last three bays unfortunately could not be used. We have 15 more minutes to go for the car to reach 90% state of charge and already the car has 408 kilometers. Well, being an Elon fanboy, I could not resist doing this. 420. <laughs> Alright guys, 5 more minutes to go. 494 kilometers at this time. Really good. There you go. Charging complete. We have put back inside 461 kilometers. And right now we have about 507 kilometers in my battery, which is 90%. We still have about 10 more percent to go. I started at 1.46 p.m. and time now is 2.44 p.m. It's about one hour worth of charge. We'll see more of the metrics in just a bit. Don't forget, that is 461 kilometers on a V2 130 kilowatt supercharger, even with another car standing alongside, charging at the same time. Not bad at all. We can't wait for those V3 superchargers to drop, but till then, there are a lot of DC fast chargers like EV Network and ChargeFox bringing in 250 kilowatt ultra rapid chargers here to the Aussie communities. Now let's look at some of the numbers. I'm using this third party app called Teslascope. Of course, there are a fair few third party softwares out there which dive into our Tesla data and give us more information. For instance, the maximum power that my car was able to charge during this entire charge session was 127 kilowatts, as you see here. What this means is if I'm able to charge at 127 kilowatts, I'll be putting back inside 935 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, on a V2 supercharger, it's not possible. Is still waiting on that V3. More on that very soon. And here you can see, after being in the sub 70s for a fair while, 
The power jumped up to 94 kilowatts here. This is where the other gentleman charging his SR Plus unhooked from 1B. And you can see there is diminishing returns. As the percentage keeps going up, the kilowatts keep dropping down. Tesla's battery algorithms do intelligently do that to preserve battery longevity. As we know, DC fast charging can reduce the longevity of the batteries. But rest assured, Tesla batteries are one of the longest lasting batteries out there. And these, I presume, are still the 2170 tabbed batteries and the 4680 tabless Tesla batteries are coming to our Teslas in 2021. A massive thank you to my good mate, David Chow, who made the effort to 3D print that battery and send it over to me, not once, but twice because of a problem with the couriers. Thanks a million, mate. The total amount of energy consumption for this 59 minute charge is 63.07 kilowatt hour and charged at a rate of 52 cents per kilowatt hour. This session comes up to $32.80. We started with 45 kilometers and we ended with 506 kilometers at 90%. A 100% charge gives me 565 kilometers approximately. I made a note of that in my full review video, which is there in my channel, as well as in the description of this video. I believe the Tesla upgraded the size of the battery pack in the 2021 long range Tesla Model 3. Although it's still a 2170 battery cell, the capacity has now increased to 82 kilowatt hour compared to the previous 77 kilowatt hour. I'm sure you've seen this news out there, where Tesla has recently unlocked 30 miles in the 2021 long range Tesla Model 3. I believe it's because of this reason. Thanks guys, thank you very much for watching my video. This is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. And before I go, a sub to the channel will be amazing. And if you're in the lookout to buy a sexy of your own, any of the Teslas, please consider using my referral code because that will help another Aussie get into an EV faster because my uh, Tesla supercharging credits go into my higher car, which people can hire via ev.com.au x canberra thanks guys i'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon until then this is nash from tesla in the gong signing off peace